guess what? We came across a road that leads to nowhere. Nowhere. We also found a tunnel that, could you guess? It also leads nowhere. to nowhere. 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 An abandoned tunnel, a road to nowhere. There's all kinds of history too. Fighting between people and the government, people being thrown out of their houses, unfulfilled promises by the government. We got it all for you. We're gonna sort it out. We're gonna show you the road. It's coming right up and we cordially invite you to come along for the adventure. Come along. Let's take a walk on the road. Hello. In through the tunnel. Hello. That leads to nowhere. Hello. So we've been walking for quite a ways now. The tunnel looks a lot less creepy and small from the outside compared to when you get right here in the middle of it. It's pretty long. Pretty scary. And pretty scary. Not a place you'd want to be when it's dark out. No way. Nighttime or even on a cloudy day. Even with it being a very bright, sunshiny day, it is very dark. Or any day. In the middle of this <laughs> tunnel and it is a little creepy. You're afraid of the dark? We are currently coming to you from Swain County, North Carolina. Back in the late 1930s and 40s, people used to live here in the Smoky Mountains and wanted to continue to do so. However, the government had different plans. As the government sometimes does, the government basically told these people, you're getting out of here because they wanted to expand the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. They wanted to put a lake in. They wanted to do various things in this area. And the government has control in these situations. And unfortunately, there were 1,300 people, around 1,300 living right here in the Great Smoky Mountains. And the government said, get out. A lot of them said, no, we're not leaving. And they were forced out. They never received any money or anything for it, which is crazy to think about. But what they did receive was a promise from the government. The government said, when you're all out of here, when we throw you out of your home, and put this new lake in. Now the lake was gonna cover up their highway. 288 I think was the name of the highway and the lake was gonna cover that up. So the highway is now under the lake. So these people had no access to get on this road, which is the road they used to go visit the graves of their family members, which are up here in the mountains. So the government said, well, what we'll do is we'll build you a new road. This road that we're standing on right here was supposed to be that road. Unfortunately, they ran into environmental issues and when they got right up to in here, they stopped the project. Once the environmental issues were fixed, there wasn't the money for it apparently, and the government just stopped it. They never finished the road. So now the people can only see their relatives by getting on a boat, which happens on weekends apparently during nice weather, or when there's a family reunion up here, they can get on a boat, take a ride, and go visit the graves of their family members. Eventually, the government did pay Swain County apparently a sum of around $50 million. Now that was like 80 years later though, cause this was back in the 1930s when it got started. I think the payment was around 2012 or something like that. 50 million, $52 million to Swain County. Cause the government finally said, you know, we're not finishing this road, we've had enough. And that was the end of the story. And here in the middle of the Great Smoky Mountains is where the road ends. Based on this new looking sign, locals are still upset about it all these years later. Now, I think it's time to find a road that leads to somewhere. Good idea. Let's get out of here. Y'all be sure to hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so you can come along with us on future adventures. Come along.